like to refer the cashew as like the vegan cow because like you can pretty much make mozzarella, you can make chev and make cashew parmesan. Anything you would make like with regular cow's milk, you can make with like cashews. Hi, I'm Jay Estafa. I'm a vegan chef based in New York and I'm the owner of Jay Estafa Catering. So uh, when I was 14, I was just like in curious like what happens to animals. I, I googled that after seeing a PETA video. So I became vegetarian after seeing a PETA video. And then a couple months later when I was 16, I decided to go like fully vegan. <laughs> We're at the kitchen at Three Brothers Pizza Cafe, which is also where I do my catering and also where I make all my vegan cheeses. And as you can see, the space is a little bit small, but I managed to feed up to 400 people in this little space while the restaurant's operating. I've been cooking vegan professionally for six years, and I've been vegan for eight years, almost eight years in November. Uh, my dad had a restaurant, and I'm like, why not create like a vegan menu for the restaurant? And at that time, I was in my uh, senior year in high school. When I became vegan, uh, that inspired me to like learn to cook for myself, and that inspired me to become like a vegan chef. So the Three Brothers Pizza Cafe, when it first started, it just was like a regular Long Island uh, restaurant, like pizzeria, like no one. It's just like a regular neighborhood restaurant. And then when I created the vegan menu, it completely transformed into like a destination restaurant. We have people coming from all over, like Brooklyn, Manhattan, like they come from all over. So it's like a destination restaurant. And our location is in Farmingdale. So like for some people, it can be considered like the middle of nowhere. But like we have people driving here, taking the Long Island Railroad. They just come to try the food. So today we're prepping all this cheese for a big pop-up dinner I'm doing in New York City in a couple weeks. Uh, it's called Plant by Jay Safa. It's a pop-up dinner series that I launched, and we're popping up at an art gallery. So what we did here last night, we made the cultured cashew milk, which we're going to be using for both the mozzarella and the cheddar cheese. And to do that, I took, I did one part of cashews and four parts of water. I put acidophilus powder, and what the acidophilus is going to do, it's going to culture that. Yeah, that's like the key to making, to creating like the dairy taste. 24 hours later, it completely transforms, like the basic cashew milk, it transforms into like, kind of like a yogurt uh, taste to it. Cause like I tried making it without culturing, but I didn't get like the dairy taste with it. And the culturing is like the key to that nice taste. For my business, I've done everything from, I've done uh, mozzarella, cheddar cheese, I even done a Gruyere cheese, uh, cashew parmesan, which is like grated cashew parmesan. I do a chev, a brie, blue cheese, feta, that's like one of my favorites. Creme fraiche, butter, ricotta. Like, I even done a ricotta salada. Like all the cheeses that I make, they have like the protein because I use whole cashews. And it's also cholesterol free and it's lower in fat than regular traditional uh, cheeses. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking like in the near future, like vegan cheese is going to be like mainstream. It's like regular, you can get it anywhere. Like before when you said vegan, like people, you have to explain it. But now I know it's like you don't really have to explain it too much for people. And it doesn't have like that negative stereotype that it had like before. I remember in 2011 when I started the testing process for mozzarella, like one of the, the reasons I started doing that is because I noticed there was no like vegan fresh mozzarella out there. There's like mozzarella that's meant to be like a regular mozzarella, but that no one's doing like a nice high quality like buffalo style mozzarella. One of the important parts of the texture of the mozzarella and the cheddar cheese is the tapioca starch. And what the tapioca starch is, it naturally creates a nice stretchy consistency for the cheese. Our vegan pizzas with our homemade mozzarella, it's like people really like that. Because like you just get that nice creamy taste that traditional mozzarella has. And where you can't really get it with like the cheese that you can buy, the vegan cheese that you can get from the store, you can't really get that consistency. And it just tastes really good. So we won, uh, we won Best Vegan Pizza by PETA in 2015, and we also won Best Vegan Pizza by PETA in 2011 too. So as a chef, I have like multiple, like I'm not just like one type of chef. I consider myself as like uh, both like a comfort food chef with like three brothers because like, the menu that I do here is like mo mostly comfort foods. And then I'm com I completely transform into like a high higher end chef with like the tasting menus that I do. That's where I really like having fun with food. I kind of like playing like with mind games with food, like where people think they're eating something, but it's like completely like different. And that's like what the modernist approach that I have to like to cooking. Like my mission is to change like people's perception about like plant-based cuisine. Like it can be like a lot more than just like salads, like what I originally thought. Oh, when I serve the cheese, because like the cheese station is like one of the most popular things for our events that I cater, and just, people are just so amazed like how close it is to like regular cheese. When people tried my mozzarella, 
they're always like they said it just reminded them just like how the mozzarella they had like previously before they went vegan. Like my recipes are constantly evolving. They're not like stuck like in this position. Like they're constantly evolving. And also like blue blue cheese. Uh, right now I'm using a spirulina, but it would be great to actually find like the uh, the true blue cheese mold to make like a true like blue cheese. Like the cheese recipes now are probably going to even get better after next year. They're constantly getting better. Yeah, that's like one of like my missions like with cooking, like to really show people like how amazing like you can have like all the flavor profiles of like regular animal products. You can trans use like plant-based ingredients to create those same flavor profiles. You can still have like a pizza margarita, you can still have ravioli. It's all about like reinventing. It's like 2015, so it's like time to like change a couple things up. And you don't have to like give up like those old like traditional recipes.